I'm Marie from Vivid in Swan Hill and I'm here today to show you an easy arch project that we've named Drizzle Art. So to do this project you need a canvas, you need paints, any colours fine. Oh, I've chosen these ones because I like these ones. I've added into my paints some oil and you're going to ask why but that's it gives you a different texture. And you also need to make sure that the paint is enough to drizzle consistency. So you might have to add some water if you feel like it. So to start with, you just, you can do it any way you want to. I'm gonna show you two ways today of doing it. And with this art project, you don't have to be specific. It can just be anything you want it to be. So the first canvas I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drizzle my paint all over it like this. It can be as thick as you want. You can place it anywhere. You don't have to be specific. It's anything you want it to be. That's the beauty of it. And no two pieces will be the same. So that's another good thing about this. As you can see, I'm just doing it any way I want to. And if you feel some spots are a little bit too wide, just add some more paint. I might do some more in the middle, just looking a bit thin. And a bit of grey. your paints all along, the next thing we do is move our canvas. So you can move it any way you'd like to move it. So we'll do it up that way. Make sure you've got paper too because it's really messy this way. As you can see all the paints are mixing in with each other. You can then turn it up this way. As I said you don't have to be specific. You can do it any way you'd like to do it. And you can keep turning the canvas until you get the desired effect that you'd like. And you don't have to cover all the canvas either if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you and how you'd like your art piece to look. this one up. So with this canvas I'm not going to dribble all over this way. I will be very specific with how I do it. And you don't have to use spoons either. You can actually get the cup and pour it on if you'd like to but I'm going to use spoons today. So this one I'm going to do lines. Exactly the same thing, and we'll watch it dribble. As you can see, it's all mingling into each other. Turn it on this way. Or, no, actually, I've turned my mind. That's the beauty of this, you can change your mind. <laughs> Yep, 
still dribbling. So I think I actually think this one's ready as well. So as you can see, we have two different effects of dribble paint. So hopefully you can do this at home and you can have some great masterpieces to hang up on the wall or you can give someone a present. Thanks. Bye.